Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Reverse BLT here, and uh, it's my birthday weekend. My mom came down to visit me, and uh, it's a perfect opportunity for me because I've been wanting for forever to get her reactions to The Expanse on tape. Uh, it's a show that has been like pulling teeth to finally get her to actually watch it, even though it is by far the greatest sci-fi show on television in at least a decade. So, oh, please take that off. I am in disguise. Yeah, okay, you're in disguise, but... People, I can people see. need to be able to actually see your eyes I... in order to, for you to have a reaction to things. It's all right. They, I, Plus, how are you going to see the show? I'm not, I, I can see the I can see the show. See what I have to deal with, guys. If you ever wonder why I'm the way I am, nope. Right here. Nothing That's to do with me. Right Hi. Here. Hi, everyone. Uh, okay. He's been trying to get me to see this show for because uh, it's a great show. A long time. Come on, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself to the audience out there. I'm mom. Uh, I like to call Hi. her the mother of bacon. I think because uh because my Name on the internet is Reverse BLT. It's a bacon pun. So I figure I'm going to call you Mother of Bacon or MOB for short. Mob. So this is this is Say Mob what? right here, guys. So you get the, the mob style reaction. We're going to start right from the beginning with episode one of The Expanse, which I believe is called Dulcinea. So, Mob, uh, do you know anything at all about the show? No. What do you think it's going to be about? No clue. The name of it is The Expanse. What, so do, you we're think, gonna what do you think that, that refers to? The name? You know, I just like to watch the show. Uh, okay, that's true. So, no speculation at all? None at all. All right. So, do you know what those oh, name is? One second. One second, please. Yeah, how about you take one that second. thing off? No, no. No, no. I just got to straighten out my my thing a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Are you for real okay. going to wear that the whole time? Okay, wait a minute. Just got to get the eyes just right. One second. Wow. Oh, right again. <laughs> okay, so seriously. Hello you're again. Gonna do that. So... Uh, let's get this show started. All right. All yeah, right. Let's get, let's get oh, wait a minute. Let me straighten out my little glasses. Mom, take the take the dang thing off, please. I can see. If you can see, then why do you have to keep straightening it out? Because it's my disguise. Why do you even need to be in disguise? I like being in disguise. It's not like you're some government agent or anything. You don't need to be in disguise. You never know who after you. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, who, who would be after you? No. <laughs> I never know. That's just it. So you know what Dulcinea means? Can we just watch the show? Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. I am enjoying the scene. Get on with it. All righty, we're gonna we're gonna watch the show now. Didn't he just say where he got all of his whatever yeah. from? Isn't oh wait, I, it started it started at the at the thing and stuff. What Alrighty. thing? No, hold on. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Or, wait, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to edit. Hello? Hi. Um, hello? Hi. Not you. Not you, not you, and not you. Why isn't the show happening? It's called technology. Three, two, one, go. Still not working. Well, it's Three, the Expanse two, Season 1, Episode 1, Dulcinea. If, if, if it wants to ever start playing. Sound like ice cream. Oh, that's but that looked like something. No, they probably wanted to play a freaking ad. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip your stupid ad prime video. There we go. Hooray. And stuff. All right, Season 1 of the Expanse. And go. <laughs> so strange. Well, I guess we're what? going to get ready to get started. Pay attention to the opening credits, though, because they, they kind of look... I don't care about these videos. No. That's not nice. You're trying to get me hooked again like on Game of Thrones, that's all. Well, I, I only do it with good shows, so you got to be happy for that. No, because they're going to mess up next year. They're not going to mess up. Ah, I was wrong! I was horribly wrong! I like the music. Oh, the music's great. <laughs> There's a little something there that was in the credits that you don't know what it means yet. It's like right there at the end. Well, you know me. Rewind. Okay, read. In the 23rd century, humans have colonized the solar system. The UN controls Earth. Mars is an independent military power. The inner planet, planets of Earth, Mars, and the Delta are now on the brink of war. All it will take is a single spark. Huh? I don't know, it's starting off funny already. 
What's wrong with you, lady? She's having a very bad day. <laughs> you don't even know the half of it. I don't think they show it in, in, in the show, but like she's literally, her day has been so bad she's had to drink her own piss. The only thing I can do is to drink my own pee. She looks like she's floating. She is, she's in space. Her hair is all over the place. Yeah, she's in space. She looks like the woman in the middle of um, Prank. Yeah, she really did. <laughs> she's having a really rough day. So that right there is a urine bag. They must not have no water. Well, she's been locked in this thing for like a week. Why is she there? She's a prisoner. Oof. But I won't say anything else because I close my eyes, everyone. I don't want to see her drink the pee. Well, you notice they didn't they didn't really show you any coloration, so you could believe it was water if you wanted to. <laughs> if you want to believe in something, then believe it. But did you hear the sounds of the battle that was going on? That was what was happening outside. Okay, the, the captain uh, called Why did she want to go out? Because she's trapped inside of a thing. She's trying to escape. Uh oh. Well, she just did. Probably, <laughs> she's probably gonna regret it in a minute. Correct! Have yeah, you seen too many horror movies? So those are magnetic gravity boots. Gravity boots? Yeah, well, magnetic boots. There's no artificial gravity in the expanse. I was gonna say, her head was flying all over the place. Yeah, that's why she tied it up. So that it's cheaper, so they don't have to keep animating her hair floating around in zero gravity. Somebody just slow her on back. Come on, come on, get out of there. You're not going to go get him? Would you? <laughs> I don't know. The person's not moving or anything. <laughs> well, I don't know. She all by herself. I probably would go get him. So she went to see what was going on in the engineering bay because it said SOS. That's the nuclear reactor for the ship. Mark McHale, get the hell out of there! What's all this weird stuff going on around it, though? Who knows? Somebody's still in, um... Technology. Oh shit. Oh my goodness. This is a mistake! Those look like bugs. Serious. This one's covered in ice. Enough water for a thousand generations. You gotta drink it all. Earth and Mars stripped it away for themselves. One day Mars will use its might to wrest control of Ceres from Earth. And Earth will go to war to take it back. It's all the same to us. No matter who controls the series, our home to them, we will always be snakes. That's all we are to the Earthers and Dunnards. Thus, we should return to Martians. So if we went all the way to Mars and messed them up. This is way out. This is further to Mars. It's serious. No matter where we go, we mess things up. We demand to be heard. They need to leave Over human beings where they are. Yeah. Is that how he is? Nine, 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 nine. No, that's fuck you. We get killed for a long look around here. Hey, you. Dang, you look like Keanu Reeves. No, that's your dude. You don't recognize him? Uh -huh. Thomas Jane. And when the blood is on the wall, Sasaki will decide to run. Yeah, I don't know. See you then. Wait a while. Hmm. What? Well, you sound like you from Australia. Well, wow. Well, South Africa. The Belters are a hodgepodge. You may notice that a whole bunch of what they say you don't even understand because they have their own language. Like, no, but I thought I heard that on uh, Lethal Weapon. Now, you notice how how belt, how so many of these people are really tall and lanky? Oh, gosh, what's wrong with you? Well, that guy's dead. Thanks, Captain Obvious. And what language are you speaking? She's speaking so Belter. At least they can put it in English. They've got the arm again. They leave it like know, that yeah. on purpose. Why? So you mm. can feel like him, because he's from Earth. And he doesn't understand a the thing they're saying. So you can see how he's noticing the hands. Like the Belter had long, weird hands. So he got a long, weird out. body. That's crazy! What's the deal with the hat? So he must be he's a Belter. Standing off my hip. Mm -hmm. That's why the guy called him Well Lala, because he's like seen as a belter who tries to act like he's from the inner planet. So well, everybody's not told. There's different generations and stuff. I trust you change those air filters, right? For compliance, Miss Sasa. Okay. Well, he just gave him something. 
Mike, So he was asking him, like, did he change the air filters? And he told him, yeah, full compliance. He said, okay, so I guess I don't have to inspect it. And then when he gave him the coins. So he's on the tape. They, they even took, they even taught other people to be beaten. He's a cop. Human being. What do you mean other people? All these are human beings. There are no aliens. We taught the people to be... We took our bad habits. Okay, well, that's different. Hold on, I'm serious. Just cops. You reset. I have something for you. This is boss. Contract. Sideline and meet you. No, this is a book on your own. Can't take from where though. A favor someone down on earth is doing for a shareholder. But we're proud. Wow. Little lost daughter case. Ariadne and Jules Pierre Mal. Mal Kukowski Mercantile, and they misplaced the daughter. Hmm. Does she look familiar? Black sheep. They misplaced the college. Does she look familiar? Why are the parents She's one of those strings? I probably got tired no, of her not embarrassing her. That's the girl man. that you saw breaking out of the thing at the beginning of the show. <laughs> oh! Hey, how'd she get over? Oh. They kidnapped her. So, so what's my contract exactly? Find Julie Mount. Oops. She's still here on Sirius. Detain her and ship her home. Kidnapped job. My pleasure. <laughs> Oh, that's one of the things, the cool things to show. I love these remixes of old songs. The Delphers like to take old Earth songs and remix them. I was smelling a winter day. Hmm. When I would drag my wild Ooh. Wild Oops. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, somebody lost my arm. See, not paying attention. <laughs> They're always mess shows up. How's that messing up the show? It just started. Dang, I don't know if I need to see all this. Hey, somebody lost an arm. They done fell to the earth. We never saw uh, it. Uh, uh. Well, thrust gravity. Ships, since this show is realistic with its physics, so when ships are under thrust, they have gravity. But they're not. They don't. Still got oh, he's definitely under thrust. Nice move. Actually, to come. Oh, okay. I see what you did there. So she's a belter. He's from Earth. He's from Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. He's from Mars. Here we come. So he's not a native then, but he's not a native from Mars. Who? The guy you said from Mars. No, hey. he's a native from Mars. Mars has been colonized for like 125 years or something. See, look, he messed that up too. So he's going to try to get the XO out of his uh, quarters because he's basically been holed up in there for like three or four days. What are you hiding for? Mm. What do he do? Okay. Second off. You know what? I was in incognito, but this is not working for me. I told you. you I cannot I enjoy the movie. Okay. I cannot. <laughs> so, again, hello. Put your ass back on. So so now I can see. That's why I was having the problem, but... Why couldn't we have brought more life? <laughs> yeah, he's been in several movies. Yeah, he's been a lot of stuff. He's the XO. He's ready to kill himself. <laughs> Jason lost his mind. He's been out in space too long. Poor thing. Okay. He done killed all his plants and everything. Space madness! It's been a long time coming. You're probably not in the frame again. That's okay. No, oh, is that okay? People want to see you. No, they don't. like you. You get things done, you're gonna make a good XO. You got me pegged wrong, Captain. Captain's never wrong, first lesson free. You've been on the camp five years <laughs> you now. You said the captain's never wrong. wrong. <laughs> well, you know that, that's strong. already a lie. That's a lie already. Well, already. No, no, you dream She's of familiar. A show reaction. I'm gonna get out of the ice hole. Oh, gosh, she's played a lot of Indian movies. Beautiful war. A lot of good Indian movies. Which is funny because she's not Indian. I know. She First, but, but yeah, they keep casting her as an Indian man. Or an Arab. No, no, no. Tell me oh my God! I'm getting. Please don't add us. My mom. My mom just says ignorant old person things sometimes. So no, no. I don't say ignorant old people. I just don't understand don't, why don't, everybody. Don't blow up the, the comments because all of us look alike. This is we just do. This isn't even like an Indian. We are relatives. 
Persians are way far removed from Indians. We are relatives of everybody. Yeah, sure, we're relatives, but that's not the same thing saying they're the same. It's like saying every American is the same. But that's not true. We are. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Please don't don't send him any little bad comments. Of course we <laughs> because of the things that I say on occasion. We're going to get them from people who are mad at us for talking over the show. So okay, so what they're talking about right now is there's a statute that requires them to go and, and answer a distress call. And they're debating whether or not to actually do it. Delay means we lose our birth series. Because our on time bonus goodbye. I'm saying we move on and let the good God Darwin sort it out. Goes around, comes sure they around. Heard. One of these days is going to be us stranded out there. No. The captain gave an order to people. Purge the logs. I never received that signal. I hope you're listening. So they chose to erase the record of the fact they got the distress call and they're going to ignore it. Yeah, you're natural. You seem to know that's some shit. If you're going to no. talk, talk loud while that people It's a reaction video. The react part is part of the. Now, a minute ago, you yeah, just you said I'm talking no, no, no. over the thing. No, I said people are going to comment on it, because they always do. But what they don't understand is that if we don't talk over it at least a little bit, we'll get flagged for copyright material. So, well, right now, we all call it, we all sort of like a... He's cracking me up on okay. that stress talk. <laughs> so it was a little disagreement yeah, with the lady who's paying it. Turn him down flat. Are you kidding me? Be on the short path to captain. Exactly. Would you want a captain? Besides, I took it... We have to stop seeing each other. Okay. Who's that saying about all good things? Uh-uh, no she not. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's some cold shit. Wow, you were just an intermission. It's right now, there's later. I worry about later, right? Right. Oh, you liked her a lot more than she liked you, huh? Holden's also like, I don't know, he's like, it's one of those people, what do they call them, serial monogamous? You're a serial monogamous? Do you, do no, you really I'm, know what it means? I am yes, monogamous. Oh, okay. okay. See? So <laughs> for Yeah, this is, you'll, you'll understand why he's doing this in a second. This you see me looking, right? This is something that the lady he's, uh, the, the blonde he's sleeping with taught him to do. Because you may notice he's like always drinking coffee and he always makes his like faces when he drinks the coffee because he hates the coffee. So she taught him to grind up the little bits off the end of matches into the coffee and it apparently makes it taste slightly better. No, he didn't. Oh, now, how did a rat get up? We even took rats. Yeah. They would they would sneak into into the containers as well. We stuff. took rats Rat, to other me, places. Rats, roaches, and things like that. We probably up. took them too. Oh, he's he's listening. He's recovering the message and listening to it. No stress call. It's not like a whale. Help me. That's what it sounded like you said. Can somebody help me? Yes, yeah, so if anybody's there, please. See, we didn't answer a distress call. Who's we? I mean, they did. These answer. people. Yeah. I gotta say we because they're supposed to be human beings. Yeah, right. Look at what a weird country. Well, we've always been. I have to go get my juice. Okay. I'll be back. So uh, I'll just pause it. No, oh, all you do is just let no, it go. No, I pause it. Mom, you don't understand how reaction videos work at all. And then I'll be right back and say, hey, I'm back. Ah, weirdo. Probably should put some ice in. It was all, where'd you get ice from? I don't have any ice. I saw, I saw ice trays in it. No, you probably saw the little, uh, I have ice packs in there. That's not an ice tray. If there's an ice tray in there, it doesn't have any ice in it. I don't know, is there an ice tray in there? What do I mean? Oh, hey, I have ice trays. The dream has no memory of that. But there's no ice in them. No, it's not. You know what? I think I remember now. I meant to take those out and wash them. I, I forgot yeah, all I, about I, it. I think they do. So that I can actually use them. No, you needed to put your response to that type of crap. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I, might, I might leave that in. Why not? I'm probably not going to leave that in. Though. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, sure you won't. Anyway, you ready? Let's hope you're still in frame. Hi. That's our girl, Show Ray.
still hot at like 60 something. Hey, this calls what is this little familiar? <laughs> because we did watch part of it. Oh, and, okay. And, oh, okay. But I know you, so I knew you would forget it. Oh, yeah, he's nah, like, he's Indian. He is not Persian. No, he's actually Indian. He's been in several movies. As much as I watch Bollywood. Why would she be bad for him? No, that's not her. Oh. They're juxtaposing. Oh, so he's one of those people. That's why he you the real planet hurts. But it's appropriate. You wish to hurt Earth. The Earth that is now crushing your weak, better lungs and your fragile, better bones. All you have to do to make it stop is talk. The whisper will do. If that's all you can manage. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Give him another ten hours. <laughs> if he survives, Carl. So, what do you think of Christian Alcazarala? <laughs> She's two faced. She's the third most powerful person in the entire She's Earth's government. There's one side that people see, and then there's the real side that she's doing her job. You see, you see the little girl coughing? Being treated by the doctors. What's she got? See all these people talking. What they had? Think back to earlier. What's up, y'all? She got Sarah Peltier's crap job, so I can tell you. Oh, shit. Sure. Like the guy. I guess this guy pays well to be taken care of, huh? Yeah, he pays our bosses pretty well, too, pal. But don't try to save the whole station on the first day. It's just luck. Yeah, that's the guy who was bribing him, telling him he didn't fix those radios. Right Jake, it's Chinatown. That's a stress call we never received. It was logged with HQ by some anonymous piece of shit do-gooder aboard this ship. Oh, Hold it. He'll head up this rescue of salvage. Whatever we're calling it. Look, shuttle team. Oh, I remember the problem. This. So? I think so. Sure. <laughs> <coughs> I go in. They shouldn't have answered that distress call. <laughs> so, so the way this is working is I tried to show Ma like the first like two episodes before, and she wasn't really like paying much attention because it was late and she just started falling asleep and stuff. And she tends not to really remember much of what she sees in situations like that, so I just decided to go ahead and start all over again. Clearly, she's remembering a little bit. Which I'm glad you did. But we're okay. <coughs> This will be a IG maneuver. Prepare for flip and burn. Hooray for physics. <laughs> it's one of the things I love about the show. Real physics. How it would really work. Are they getting ready to jump? There's no jump. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't Babylon 5. There's no faster than light travel. It's just regular travel. They just poured on a whole bunch of crust. Well, travel, travel is rough for them. They need battery on fire technology. Star Trek. Well, Star Trek technology is essentially magic. So. <laughs> this one looks like it's going to be ripped apart. Nah, uh, it's just going to hurt real bad. Yeah, it looks like they're hurting. That's why they had that drug that was going into their system so that helped. Uh, well, they had the little mouth guard. Yeah, that's that's to keep them from hurting yeah. themselves. But yeah, it's a lot of stress, a lot of G forces. Well, just wait till they find out that you're the one. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be in trouble. I imagine people aren't gonna be too happy about it. 
Not at all. <clears throat> Your girlfriend loved that distress call. She's going to be living it down for a long time. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Just couldn't shake it. Mm. I keep that to myself if I were you. My well, only told you. It was interesting. Good, interesting that she decided not to tell anyone else. Though. I, don't think. I mean, oh, this wife is really pretty. Well, I guess that's a spoiler, technically, because you don't know who the. He respected her, her enough to tell her. I <laughs> don't he didn't tell anybody else. Me neither. Me either. Here we are. This is the person that I still maintain will be your favorite character. Amos. You know where Amos is from? Baltimore. Why would he be my best friend? Oh, you'll see. I'm quite certain about that prediction. <laughs> Amos, what did you do? Oh, what are you going to do? Uh-uh. Um, Juliet Andromeda Mao. She's the richest bachelorette in the system. Now what would a rich girl do to really piss Danny off on series? Are you asking what I did? Oh. Any of his Facebook or I could find. It's not helpful. I'm sorry, why did you come here for my help? Not really. Admit it. Miss me. Miss these little chairs. Good night. Well, I don't think she missed those little chairs. Or anything else. Eat something, for God's sake. You look like hell. Oh, dude, you care about him. I don't think much is the right shouldn't have answered that distress call. It's definitely the Scorpio line. No, I are electro. What about that thing that looks like a big hole in the side? <laughs> uh, Later says it's a big hole in the side. <laughs> well, the big array on the can's reading. No one worth half a million clicks. Looks like we're the only game in town. Well, we came, we looked, we uh, left. You should leave. Don't know if we said blow on that thing. Take a sip. And Alex. Something nasty's hiding in that ship. We bolt like hell and melt anything behind us in the slag. Good plan, Oz. All right, I'll go and poke around. I'll go with him. Why? Let him go in. <laughs> All by himself. Why would you send a person all by themselves to investigate a ship? Why would somebody send a distress call and answer it without telling anybody? They did tell people. They, were, they radioed they told back. The lady. I'm talking about the, the guy. I mean, why? Who the other guy gonna get killed? Saying. More than likely, he gonna get killed, okay. and that one's still gonna be alive. Watch the show, Bob. See what happens to people. You and your theories. Okay. You know I'm waiting. Let's watch the show. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Him. See, we normally run the opposite direction. Who's we? See, we smarter. Who's we? Huh? Who's we? Whack. The one who didn't want to go. Oh. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Wasn't well, a torpedo. A breaching charge did that. Why would you want to stay? So you get what that means, right? Why would you want to stay after seeing that? Turn around, go back the other way. You heard him, right? Told him to keep the gun out. He need a gun. He has a gun. Boba? Yeah. I don't see a gun in there, Wayne. What's his uh, gun? They're both armed. Yeah, he just wasn't killed by the blast. But um, Amos is the one that's the hold, holding his uh, rifle. Oh, and so if everyone's dead, who turned it off? <laughs> well, it pirates. They would have left all that behind. And they left all the pressure doors open. They were waiting on you. So no one could hide. Oh, whoever answers. Uh oh. What's that? Oh, damn, is that somebody? We need more eyes in here. No, might be. 
because at the very least it's a helmet. All right, man, it's on the bridge. So they sent for the rest of the crew so they could have uh, more eyes and also the expertise of the different people. Hey, guys. Where are the bodies at? <laughs> Is anybody else's alarm going off? All of their alarms are going off. The one they're following in. Turn around and go back the opposite direction. No, because he's what he's telling them to do are appropriate things to try to figure out what happened. Sometimes you don't need to know what happened. Yeah. You need to turn around and go back. Come on, guys. Get out of there. What's that? Does that look like a... Oh, maybe not that. Shoot the bomb, maybe tell it. Somebody watching. It's a transmitter. Oh, man. Ship just appeared near the location. See? How is that possible? You clear us out for a million clicks. Didn't show up on any of our skills. They scouts. needed new people. We're sending you a rendezvous point. We have to hell back here. So how do you think a ship just suddenly appeared that when they hit clear radar for a million kilometers? Pilot, disengage! You guys, they can jump like Star Trek. Nope. Nobody can jump like Star Trek. Henson. And don't bet on it, Picard. Where did that thing come from? Damn if I know. It suddenly it was there. Stealth tech. Has to be. They don't have stealth like that. Not you. Where is it? Huh? You say, who else has who yeah, stealth like that? Did you hear what the, cat, what the uh, pilot said? Not us. Mars. Remember, he's from Mars. You hear me? Not us. So he said Mars has tech like that. Now look at him trying to act nice. That's what a camp. Right? Right. He's a politician. Oh, a fake bird. No, it's a real bird. At least I'm pretty sure it's a real bird in the book. It's a cute kid. But you got to remember that the... Um, How old? Two and a half. But since they're right. since they're on an asteroid, oh, the gravity's weird, right? Yeah, so no. the bird flying is gonna look Shit. funny. You know what I mean? Like it's not gonna fly like a bird on Earth would because the gravity's weird. No, there's the, something weird about that. Series the series has gravity because it's being spun. Because it's too small to have gravity otherwise. One way. See, some weird about that bird. Yep, yeah, because it's in a place where the gravity's weird. And then it went with his. Well, yeah, similar. Same bird. Can we shoot in the bird? No, he threw he threw a, a, a nut to it. Mm -hmm. So you heard a little girl talking, right? I did. We have an outstanding detective. You better fix that air. <laughs> uh oh. No, he's not going to do what I think he's going to do. Well, I think you better fix the air vents. Air is good. What do you think? Nice. Fix the vents. Keep those filters clean, asshole. They ain't took his money and then run against him. Twelve thousand clicks and close. Hold it. Advance that distress call. Yeah. Oh okay, shoot. <laughs> No, they weren't. Meant for them. <laughs> Get down. Kind of messed up, huh? You shouldn't have answered that call. <laughs> A lot of people just died. Mm -hmm. Cause that was the main ship. Yeah, it's a 
big ship, too. With the captain. So I think there were like 300 something people on board. Now just wait till she tell that you you answered that She's distress gone. call. Uh oh. That's right, snitch. Picture. She's gone. I feel like just smacking him right upside. We're not talking about the ship. You're talking about that girl. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about both of them. You're talking about the girl. I'm going to check it out. Because space is very dangerous. So, what did you think of, season, of uh, episode one? Any, any thoughts, questions, any of that stuff? We went and messed up another place. What do you mean, space? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean... It wasn't enough that we messed up Earth. But we had to go all the way out to space <laughs> to take all our craziness with us. Yeah, human craziness. And then, now we have people that evidently we done genetically engineered or something, or over time their bodies have become you know elongated or whatever. I don't oh, know what happened to the dang old people. Okay, so, so all right, so without gravity, without constant gravity, what do you think would happen to the human body over time? Well, I don't have to worry about that. No, but I mean, what I'm do you think? What, what's over Here there? on Earth. Belters are human. But my point is, they're somewhere they, in the live, future. they live on asteroids. They're somewhere in the future, so, which we shouldn't even be in in this place. And actually, a lot of belters don't even Come live on asteroids. They live on they live in ships. They say they never in their whole lives experienced full gravity. Well, come to think about it, let's think about one of my one of my favorite shows, Andromeda. Okay. And uh, it was good for a season and a half, but after the that, captain. It was garbage. Yeah. Isn't he some off world or, or yeah, something he, like that? He, and he's genetic. I don't remember if his people were or... genetically altered or if they just all became different over time. But yeah, he's from a he's from he was from a planet with with heavy gravity. Yeah, so, so his, he's his he's bones different. Bones and muscles were denser and stronger than normal humans. Right, so he's different. And let's think about people like Tyr. Now Tyr, Tyr was genetically and Tyr was genetically uh, exactly modified. my point because that that was the whole thing with the Nietzscheans was they believed in gene in uh, using genetic engineering to improve the human race. So see, we have all these people, and now this guy the just opened here. up. This guy just opened up a Pandora's box by answering that distress call. So uh, so about the distress call. So what do you think was going on with that? What do you think was the deal there? We just saw what was going on. With it. They just destroyed their main ship. But why? I don't know any, why. Like any theories as to why anybody would do something like that? No, but I'm sure the next episode is going <laughs> to tell me. But <laughs> well, you, you might get a little more information. So in it's not going to tell you. But as really far as you. this episode, as far as this episode, which evidently was the setup for whatever's to come, <laughs> and now these people are the only survivors out of that big old ship because that one guy answered that distress call. So if they don't have a good, a good reason as to you know who is behind this crap, I'm gonna be really upset with you. Oh, so we better go. You mean, like, you mean like what was actually going on? We better go. We better oh, go no, no, to the second one. There's there's gonna there's don't worry. There's uh no we need to go to the second one. But uh, real quick, so um, so the way reaction videos go is usually you'll you'll say goodbye to everybody after the episode because you know they're only gonna get the one thing. They're not gonna sit and watch the entire. Thing of us watching stuff so so well, okay, let me so guys, my that glasses was, uh, that was episode one of season one of the expanse dulcinea mom appears to like the show so far um i think the mystery aspect just like with me it usually gets me into a lot of shows and i think the mystery of what's going on who sent the distress call what's going uh, like you know what's going to happen in the, uh further from this is uh you know it's what dragged me into it and uh i mean you guys all know the answers sir <laughs> yeah she's she's gonna be pretty I think she's going to be satisfied with where this goes. But anyway, me uh, right now, I am very upset with the young man who decided that he was going to answer this trust call, which I probably would have tried to answer too. Okay, so his name is James Holden. Okay, whatever. Yeah. But I probably would have tried to answer the distress call too because, you know, we are humanitarians and we want to help one another. But he just got his whole... <laughs> He just got the rest of the people killed. Yeah, he got his entire ship nuked. And only one person knows who's 
That's that he Naomi is Nagata. responsible. Now, you know, it's one of the things that's fun, and I understand why they couldn't do it, but, but she looks appropriate the rest of the way. But um, as a belter, as you notice, you know, a lot of times the belters are very tall and lanky. You're usually but taller. she's not tall. That is a limitation of just finding actresses. I mean, they went with some, but they tried to go more for acting ability than trying to make her exactly like she should be in the books. Well, they but could have the hired books, me. I would have. I would in have the been book, okay. she's like this, this to him. She's like oh. literally like a foot and a half taller than he is. So it's really kind of fun. They like, could have put me together. on stilts. Because uh, he's like he's like an average height earth human. So but they could have like put five, me on stilts. I'm looking for a job. And she's like almost like six feet, I think a little over six feet tall. But anyway, but uh, and very, very lanky. Like really lanky. But anyway, so um, uh, so yeah, so thanks uh, a lot for watching our uh, reaction, guys. Or specifically my mom's reaction, Mother of Bacon, Mob. Let's get that going. Hashtag Mob Reaction. You but, saw my response, right? <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so we're just gonna actually gonna jump. Well, I right gotta into... be a porker. What you trying to say? No, because my initials are TLB, so I thought it would be clever to be reverse BLT because TLB is the reverse of BLT, and I like bacon because who doesn't like bacon? You know, and, and I know there are people who can't eat bacon because of religious reasons and stuff like that, but that's not the same thing as not liking bacon because I guarantee you, if they could eat the bacon. They would fucking love the bacon because bacon is awesome. But anyway, that's that's off topic. So uh, thanks for watching our reaction to episode one of The Expanse. We're going to keep this ball rolling with uh, episode two. And we'll see you guys uh, then. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Mom. Well, I just want to say happy birthday to my son after all this is like his birthday weekend. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's, oh, okay. that's true. Now say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>